no dog sold or raised for illegal purposes. This is a historical and entertainment-based channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Two Doors Black Jack by Al Brown In all the years I've been messing around these dogs for whatever it's worth, I think the finest line of pit bulls in every way imaginable that I've ever run into anywhere was the Black Jack line. They were remarkable. Earl Tudor had the old original champion Black Jack. He fought at 56 pounds and was supposed to have won 16 pit fights, which may be questionable under modern standards, but nonetheless he was a fine dog. There were four or five outstanding ones that were bred to produce the line. Dunnabal had a dog named Jack, a white dog imported from Ireland, and old man Leitner bred to him. One of the sir from this mating was bred back to the original Black Jack. This was the mating that produced my dog, Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey was, pound for pound, one of the greatest. He won his first fight at the age of ten months. I did a foolish thing in matching him that young, as he was one of them early type dogs. He won that fight in 54 minutes. His last fight was when he was eight years of age, and he won that one in about 50 minutes. From here on, this line continued through the efforts of many men. George Peterson was a well-to-do man who owned a string of moving picture shows he ran down in the Ozarks. He finally moved out and went to Kansas City, Missouri, and he left Champion Black Jack Jr. with Earl Tudor. Earl conditioned and handled Mr. Peterson's dog, Champion Black Jack Jr., for all seven of his fights. There was a whole bunch of controversy about who was the better dog of that day, Black Jack Jr. or Tacoma Jack. It's a doing shame that neither of them met a dog that was quite as good as the other. Mr. Peterson got a hold of a named Cunningham's Nell, who was of pure Henry breeding. She was a big brindle. Henry was a gambler, and he bred and fought many a dog in his day. He owned the old Black Brandy and Red Nugget, and all that family of dogs, and Cunningham's Nell was a 100% that line. She had two different litters, probably a year apart, sired by champion Black Jack Jr., and practically all those pups were aces, these as well as the dogs. Those litters were what actually established the Black Jack line. Champion Black Jack Jr. was one of the original nationally noted champions of that era. These dogs established quite a dynasty in their own right. There were no sullen of psychos in the bunch. They would work anything. Most of them were fair-sized dogs, 50-52 pounds along in there, but they were hard punishers. Most of them would fight a shoulder hold that would disable a dog. They were absolutely, I thought, the gamest, best all-around dogs alive. Earl Tudor always named Black Jack as the finest dog he had ever seen. Apparently the dog was no slouch, as he was many times matched with dogs much heavier than he was, and he always won. As a matter of fact, he was open to whatever was available at any weight. Unfortunately, not much is known about the breeding on this dog, but the word I have is that he was Delihant on the top side and Swineford on his dam side. That is only hearsay, but his matches are well substantiated and everyone whom I ever knew who saw him proclaimed him the best. Thanks for listening, like, subscribe, and tell a dogman or woman about the Sporting Dog Archive.